like, this is not like a bragging thing, but the online concert I had, there were 7,000 people that bought tickets and watched. Dang. Okay. So I don't know what venues would allow 7,000 people. Like, that I could think of on top of my head. So it's like… Yo, that's that's a good audience. I was I was surprised by it. But then it's like, when you think, like, if BTS were to do an online one, how many tickets would they sell? And yeah. how many people would show up that couldn't show up to a venue? Ah, I relate to this statement. More than 55% of Halloween candy is purchased as treats for me and for the home and office rather than to give out during trick-or-treating. I agree. We would buy candy for the house, but I would always buy like three bags of things for me and hide them under my bed. And then my mom would find them and get mad. Disgusting! My parents never let me used to buy candy like that. Mm? Like they used to not let me drink soda for a while. Soda mm. was banned in my home until I went to college. Really? Yeah. I mean health purposes. I understand that. Yeah. They told me that cola would melt my teeth. I mean sugar does rot your teeth. Mm. I say as I eat these but… Hmm. No like… You remember how a long time ago there was a myth that like… Like if you drink cola like your teeth will literally melt. I mean it's very acidic. Yeah. So that would make sense. No, but then there was actually a video about it. Mm. And they put a tooth in like cola for like a couple of days and it melted. Well, that's if you keep the the acid exactly. in your mouth for that long. So I mean, it's not gonna… Meh. Whatever. Exactly. Science. Anyway. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I feel yeah. like if anything, revenue will be driven up. Oh, definitely. Definitely. This is… 2020 Halloween's looking good for candy corporations. 2020 is a very interesting year because… Mm. In the world, the global climate, things are looking terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, stocks crashed. Mm-hmm. The market seems like it's unrecoverable. Right. It's irrecoverable. But very niche parts of the market have boomed. True. Like streaming. I was going to say streaming like the gaming industry. I'm pretty sure it's boomed. Because everyone's home. Yeah, everyone's bored so. out of their minds. They're buying PS… The PS5 mm. is amazing. The The… The hardware on the PS5 is just phenomenal mm-hmm. for five hundred dollars to get that kind of power and outage. Um. Anyway, and then if uh, you take off your Twitch streamer hat for a second and remember that you're an idol, it's been difficult for us because we can't tour right now. We can't do concerts in person. We can't do fan science, fan meets, and so so much online yes. content's being made. Which I feel like is a progressive step into the future. I agree. Because if you've heard of BTS, they sold super large quantities of tickets. Mm -hmm. Like amazingly large quantity of tickets. And this I feel like makes it more feasible for people who wouldn't have had the money to take a plane ride to a Mm -hmm. certain location to see them live. Mm -hmm. But now they can all enjoy it from the comfortability of their home. Plus, I mean, I don't know if certain online concerts and like service have like ticket caps. But this means you don't have to pay attention to like the maximum seating of a venue. Yeah. Like… Like, this is not like a braggy thing, but the online concert I had, there were 7,000 people that bought tickets and watched. Dang. Okay. So I don't know what venues would allow 7,000 people, like, that I could think of off the top of my head. So it's like… Yo, that's, that's a good audience. I was, I was surprised by it. But then it's like, when you think, like, if BTS were to do an online one, how many tickets would they sell? And yeah. how many people would show up that couldn't show up to a venue? They sold 7,000. 7,000? <laughs> Seven wow. million. I am a nobody. Wow. Well, that must be well. Seven thousand is not an insignificant number, though. That's a lot of. That's a lot of money. Thank you to everyone that watched. Yeah, that's great. That's that's awesome. The online concerts make it so fun too, because you can do so many things that you can't do online, right? Because of risk that something's gonna go wrong, mm-hmm. right? So that just makes everything like pre-recordable. True. And doing like Hanokwa makes it so much easier to like do stage to stage instead of having to breathe in between for things. Yeah. Because it just it just makes no room for error. Right. Because everything is just packageable in the right way and gives the concert viewees the best experience possible. Concert viewees mean the audience? The audience members. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, you can always listen to the full episodes on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And also, do not forget to subscribe and follow this channel. Also, turn on notifications. 